Hey, what's up, guys? It's Corey out here, and welcome back to another video. Now, this ain't a Rule 34 video, but um, today I'm, I want to talk about the NBA real quick, and I want to talk about the Nets. All right, so I just got done watching this Nets versus 76ers game, and there's a lot of stuff I want to get off my chest real quick. Now, I'm not like a Nets fan, anything like that. Um, but that did ass like that basketball, the basketball I just saw from the Brooklyn Nets was pissing me off, bro. I just had to make this video, but fam, okay, listen, I got nothing to say about Kyrie. I have nothing to say about KD. No, I actually do. I have one thing to say about KD. Yo, tell me when like KD, KD and the Nets, they know Tobias Harris has the hot hand. Tobias Harris comes up the court. He's about to pull, he, he sets his feet, he's about to pull a 4-3. This man KD is like right next to him. Instead of putting even a hand up towards him, he just stands there and then Harris makes the three. Like, like, what the, I don't understand why NBA players in general do that shit. Put your fucking hand up, get some effort. Like, I hate when NBA players do that shit, bro. Like, they don't put their hand up, put your fucking hand up. Contest every play like it's gonna be a game winner. Hate that shit, bro. Like this nigga KD for real just was like, mm, okay, put up the ball. And then Harris made it. They had Tobias Harris out there looking like, <sighs> yo, man. Shit was crazy. This man Tobias Harris. No, hold on. Okay, let me t let me tell you two niggas that were getting cooked the entire game. Nick Claxton and uh, and Joe. Ha yo, I want Joe Harris off the. Okay. Okay, that may be too far because the man, because the man when he's actually able to shoot, hit his shots is actually pretty good. But bro, he was a truck. He was terrible. He was terrible. Not only because this nigga not hit a shot. Every time this man dr drove into the paint, he made the worst decision. Niggas was looking like Jalen Brown in the finals, like type decision making. Like this was terrible. And bro, he was getting cooked. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. The third and fourth quarter, I have never seen a nigga get cooked that bad. Like, like I've never seen someone who I, who just got cooked that bad next to Rudy um Gobert and um I think it was like last year's final. No, no, not last year's finals. Last year's playoffs. But bro, it was bro, it was terrible. Bro, it was terrible. No, I'm pretty sure it was two years ago. Yeah, yeah, it was the yeah it was the it was the playoffs before last playoffs. But, bro, this was terrible. Yo, this shit was terrible, bro. Absolutely terrible. Like, this man. Yo, the 76ers were looking at Joe Harris and Nick Claxton like food. It was disgusting. How. It and the thing is, the Nets didn't do nothing about it. The nigga with the beard, I don't even want to. I'm, I'm not even calling him by his name. Just the nigga with the beard and the bald head. He. Bro, yo, you clearly see that this nigga getting cooked. So you just decide, fuck out of here. I'm going to leave him on there. I have trust in him. Yo, every time Tobias Harris went in on this nigga, he hit a bucket. Every single time. Then Shake Milton got a bucket on him. And then Nick Claxton, his, his defense got eventually better later on in the game. But, bruh, bruh. Bro, this nigga was getting this nigga was getting bullied on the boards. It was the same shit that happened with the Kings. So bonus was bullying this man, bro. Awesome, like, like, bro. You know how, bro? Ancestors looking down on that nigga, like, bro. What is you doing, bro? Was getting bitched. When I say bitch, he was getting bitched by Sabonis. The shit was cr like this man Sabonis was like, oh, oh. this nigga Claxton had no answer for it. Bro, I remember the Nets posted this photo of this nigga looking brolic as hell. And, not, and I'm over here like, yo, what, what's that brolicness now? And now the game just updated. The Nets have lost. The Nets are 8-10, 106-115. and 10, 106, Joe Harris with a whopping three points in 23 minutes. Patty Mills a whopping three points in 13 minutes. Ah. Nick Claxton, four rebounds. Oh yeah, also, yo, there was this crazy graphic. I'm not I'm probably not gonna be able to find it by the time I even upload this video. But um it was like the amount of offensive rebounds, it was like 15 to 1, bro. 15 to 2. It was it, it was terrible. Nick Claxton, 12 points and four rebounds. Four rebounds from your center. The person who you need to be able to fucking rebound. And he had four. 
I I don't know what to say. Kyrie 23, Ben Simmons 11 points. He was ready to come back to um Philadelphia and he dropped a whopping 11 points. This nigga Ben Simmons, he, I mean he's been doing good so far, but the nigga is a fucking bum, bro. I'm sorry, like. And let's just, let me just let me just show you the people who were giving these niggas buckets. George Niang, 16 points on a fucking head domes. Paul Reed was out there looking like looking like prime Dennis Rodman. I 19 points, 10 rebounds. The Anthony Melton looking like prime Steph Curry. Tobias Harris looking like fucking prime James Harden. Shake Milton was cooking niggas. PJ Tucker. Yo, 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 PJ Tucker with 37 minutes and zero points is the craziest shit I've ever seen. But he plays good defense, bro. Let's be for real, bro. Like, it's just, bro, it's just because, like, oh, KD was just taking... KD usually takes contested shots. Like, let's be honest here. But, uh, but, um, like, that's crazy. The Nets lost this game against a 76ers team that literally had none of their stars. I, I don't even know what to say. This team ain't, this team ain't competing for no championship. This team supposed to compete for a championship? Man, if you don't get the fuck out of here with that, they ain't winning no championship. Nothing even close to that. Might as well blow it up. Because I've been seeing some shit on Twitter saying the Nets want to move on. Like, bro, if I'm KD at this point, bro, I'm going to that nigga. I'm going to whoever the GM is. I'm going to his office and I'm punching that nigga in the face. I ain't going to lie. Because, like, bro, you're doing too much. The whole keeping Kyrie out, basically sabotaging the team, and then basically getting the team to the point where they now are at 10 losses. It's fucking pathetic. It's fucking pathetic. This was the worst. Like, I seen the Nets get absolutely decimated by the Kings, and this loss right here is more worse than that. Because the Nets will come back, then proceed to, then proceed to let Tobias Harris just start cooking niggas. Then the Anthony Melton starts hitting shit. And then it's like, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Like, who, like the GM, nigga is a dumbass, bro. This man, this man do not know how to build a championship roster. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. It's about to be, it's about to be pre-end of KD in, um, in Brooklyn, bro. Kyrie most likely, Kyrie most likely going to the Lakers. On some sh- the Lakers, Timberwolves, I don't care. He most likely gone. KD most likely finna be gone. Cause like this ridiculous. This year is is ring or bust. Big time. And I know, and, and I know, and I know it's eight and ten. There's plenty of games in the season. I know. Heck, they got a game tomorrow against the Raptors. They should. They should be able to win. They are also in a play-in spot right now. So, you know. So here's let's look at the let's look at the Nets next few games. Okay, Nets versus Raptors. That's a winnable game. Y'all should be able to win that. Nets versus Pacers, y'all should be able to win that. Nets versus Trailblazers, you should be able to win that. Nets versus Magic should be able to win that. Nets versus Wizards should be able to win that. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have a potential chance to go on a six game winning streak right now. You got the Raptors, you have the Pacers, you have the Trailblazers, you have the Magic, you have the, Wiz- the Wizards, you have the Raptors again, and then that's when you have the Celtics, and that's when you most likely is going to lose. You have a chance to go on a six-game winning streak. Don't fuck it up, but, but you know, we have seen more weirder stuff. This shit about to be 10 minutes of me just ranting about this. You know, let me get back to this game real quick. Okay, so this nigga Ben Simmons, bro, like, I don't, I don't know, bro. I see this nigga Ben Simmons missed a, missed a reverse layup and then he was able to put it up. But it's like, yo, this team is just this team is just bad in so many ways, man. It's just like, it's like I don't know how I feel about like KD and Kyrie getting double teamed and then having to pass it off to fucking Royce O'Neal for a catch and shoot situation. I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I think it most likely would have helped that they had Utah out there because you know he's a pretty good shooter. Um, Seth Curry was he, he was on it for a few times and then after that he was just off and you know it's just it's terrible man it's just absolutely terrible niggas had Tobias Harris looking like the next coming of MJ oh, fucking pathetic man like true like truly bro but that's like that's all that's all I can say guys man like it's 
it's Corio. Have a good fucking day. And um, later.